Okay, it's a radio with you, a family. My name is Ethan, and I'm chatting to Jorge Baron from Village Drinks. Jorge, could you quickly introduce yourself? Hi, I'm Jorge Baron. I'm one of the organizers of Village Drinks, a gay professional networking platform and event that we host in Cape Town. So let's talk about the history of Village Drinks. How did it get started and how did you get from where you were then to where you are now? So we have started um, last year in May. A friend of ours actually ran a similar event for about three years conversations and he went back to the UK. So um, unfortunately, you know, he couldn't continue with the event. So my friend Kyle and I thought it was a great sort of thing to do, a great sort of idea. And we wanted to start something similar, but more with a business focus. And we started with our first event in Cape town in may of last year and it's really grown we've had almost like um, 12 events we've also added some mixers and the feedback's been really positive i think with all the technology we have and all the apps i think there's a real gap for people connecting in sort of offline space where they feel safe and they feel that they can network and exchange ideas and um, you know so the feedback's been very positive what happens at a typical village drinks event So normally we meet once a month, usually on the second Thursday of each month. We always do kind of a nice breaker networking game where guests either have to, you know, meet different people. They have to play a game where they sort of, you know, they've got to do a little bit of of, of a game. They've got to meet different kinds of people, collect different things. So that way, you know, everyone feels more comfortable. Um, everyone sort of breaks out from their groups if they come with friends. So we try to, to make sure that everybody mixes and we usually, you know, have a, a sponsor for the event um, that we profile business, usually uh, LGBTQI business. And generally, it's just a kind of like after work event where people can discuss, you know, their businesses, their job situation or, you know, social interactions and meet new people. The idea is to make new connections for whether it's social, business, or professional. So how often do you host for this drinks event? Usually we try to have one every month. Um, we also have some mixers that we do um, on, on Sundays that are a little bit more social because a lot of people said, look, we don't have time during the week. We're very busy, but we want to do social things. And so we try to, to have sort of, you know, uh, a mixer once every season. So, you know, spring one and summer. But usually with village drinks, we definitely have one once a month and we we are looking at, you know, other other types of meetings. Can you talk about some of the interesting businesses that you've worked with and interacted with since starting British Drinks? We firstly, you know, interact with a lot of venues and a lot of the venues where we've been hosted have been LGBTQI businesses that I think want to profile their business to our, our participants. Um, so a lot of restaurants, a lot of bars. But we also work with a lot of um, smaller businesses where people are are developing their own sort of skills. For example, we're working this month with a group of people that are developing socks and they design with African designs and they all produce here. So a lot of it is is the smaller businesses that are local. We work with a, a floating tank company, for example, that also started, brought a concept from overseas. So a lot of businesses are very interested in promoting their products to the gay community in Cape Town. And I think a lot of gay entrepreneurs are also looking for, to that. But also there's a lot of, of people that come to exchange ideas and they might have, you know, they might do graphic design or they might do, for example, we have somebody who, who does renovations and construction who comes and, you know, is, is looking to profile their business. So all kinds of businesses, big and small, you know, we have people from all types of industries coming. We have recruiters that also come sometimes looking for people that they, they're looking for jobs to fill. So it's a it's a real mix. And, you know, lots of people kind of have their own business. So it, it's a it's a great opportunity for them. So if somebody wants to get a hold of you guys or maybe perhaps follow you on social media or on the Internet, where can they do so? So we are definitely on social media. That's how we promote all our events. So we are on Facebook, uh, Village Drinks CPT Cape Town. We were on Twitter as well, Village Drinks. We are not on Instagram yet, but we're working on that. And definitely on LinkedIn as well, Village Drinks. So if you just have a look for us on on those. We don't have a website. We, we're definitely doing social media. A lot of the people come through word of mouth as well. So, you know, definitely great to pop into an event. As I said, everyone is welcome. And, you know, we try to make everybody feel very comfortable. So even if you don't know anybody, by the end of the evening, you'll meet people because we're doing games. And, you know, everyone's very much there to network. And, um, yeah, it, it's a great opportunity to do so kind of like in the real world without an app, you know. We tell everybody to put your phones away and really just talk to people.
And then finally, if there's anything else you'd like to talk about or promote, here's your opportunity to do so. Great. Well, no, I, I think it's, you know, really, this is a, a great opportunity for people who want to promote their businesses, who are looking for career changes or networks, or who are just looking to make new friends. You know, it's a really cool space, uh, safe space. And, um, you know, we put every, every the event together, but everybody who comes is, is the real, you know, the highlight of, of the event. Thank you so much. That is Jorge Barón talking to us about Village Drinks here on Gaze Radio, where you are family.